Hi there, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm back again. I've got the mic quite low my voice, um, near my voice, near my mouth, because unfortunately this morning I tested positive COVID. So I decided I must use the time since while I can talk to do some recording. So here's the first video, but there'll be a few more coming out this week. So hopefully you'll enjoy them. I was going through the box toppers from the last set and i realized there's one card i haven't really talked about mainly because it's a tribe that isn't the most supported one in the world um but they did give us a nice legendary creature to play around with in dominaria united so i decided to have a go having a bit of fun making a tribal deck with zaram golden wind three and a white for a three four legendary creature griffin it has flying, obviously, because all griffins have flying. And whenever a griffin you control deals combat damage to a player, create a 2-2 two -two white griffin creature token with flying. So, it's quite good in some respects. So, where do we go with this? Then? We want griffins. We want to be able to make the tokens to make more griffins, because they just keep expanding, you know. Every time, when you, whenever a griffin you control deals combat damage, you get another griffin. So if we keep making the griffins come up, we should get there quite quickly. Now, Griffins are an under-supported, over-costed tribe in Magic, as I said earlier. There's no way around it, but this is just going to be one of those fun decks that occasionally I'll play on stream and see if it works. And I might even I might try and build this one in real life, because I haven't got a mono white deck at the moment, and this one could be quite funny. So, from that point of view, here's the whole deck. Sorry, there you go. Um, anything that's white is in the deck, mainly planes, as you can see. I've put a couple of other bits and pieces in. Uh, I've chucked in the Castle Arden Veil so we can have some blockers if we need them on the ground. You know, you can pretend they're the riders of the Griffins. Command Towers in just for the sake of it. Ajano Castle to protect the legendary stuff. Uh, Emirius, so we can return our Griffins when they undoubtedly get killed to the battlefield. Fabled Passage to go and find those light planes we need. Mistfield Plains. So we can actually put some of the stuff on the bottom of our library if they get killed. So I thought that was quite cool. And Path of Ancestry just helps with the scrying a bit so we can get through to some of the other griffins. Reliquary Tower of Rogue's Passage. We can actually get some griffin damage in. Probably going to use that most of the time on Zeram. Temple of the False God because griffins are expensive. So we might as well have this in. Unclaimed Territory and Windbrisk Heights. Just so we can have a bit of hideaway fun and get something away. Speaking of the ramp, I have gone a little bit overboard to make sure that we get there for this deck. So, there's Mox Tantalite, there's Mana Crypt, there's Mana Vault, there's Marble Diamond, uh, and Arcane Signet. Now, you aren't going to need all of them. If you build it in real life, you can probably leave these two out and just put some other um, ramp spells in. But in the meantime, I've got them in here because it helped me get up to four to get Zero out quicker. But, obviously, as you can see, if you look at the deck list here, most of the lovely little griffins are all down this end of the curve not a lot at this end so i had to do a little bit of thinking about this and i thought well how can i actually keep myself going in the short term so i went down a slightly different route um i went with ajani's welcome i went with authority of consoles to slow down people attacking us i went with cleric class just for the additional life gain and obviously if we can get it up to level three when we've got one of the griffins in the graveyard it's not the worst plan in the world Condemn Path to Exile to control the board a little bit, along with Souls to Plowshares. And then Lunark Veteran, Soul Warden, Souls Attendant, so we can just gain that life. The upside is, if we do gain that life, we have got Griffin Airy in here. If we can get three life in a turn, in our turn, we do get another Griffin token. So, it made sense from that point of view. We have got a couple of two-drop Griffins, but they don't really do much in this deck, unfortunately, so... Fearless Fledglings in, which is nice. You can put a plus one, plus one character on it so it builds up, but it's not great. It probably dies quickly. Fledgling Griffin as well gets um, flying when we drop a land again. It's okay, but it's not great. Uh, Sunset Reverly, sorry, is in just because I figure we're going to be behind at Hunterstones and it creates a couple more humans as riders. And then Transcendent Envoy is also another Griffin, but it's also an enchantment creature. We have got a couple of enchantments in the deck that will make it... Oh, no, it's not enchantment, it's aura spells. We've got no aura spells in the deck, so it's pointless. But it's just a 1-2 griffin. And it's a griffin at the end of the day. Going up to three drops, we've got griffin sentinel in. Wild griffin. Diving griffin, which I had to go back and check out. Which isn't too bad, flying vigilance, three mana. And then a 2-3 flyer as well. There's a couple other things in here as well. I've chucked in always watching to make sure all our creatures get a little bit bigger when we've paid all that mana for them and they get vigilance. So that's quite nice. I've also chucked in halo fountain. Uh, we might get to a point where we get to an untap 
attack creature we control and get a token or draw a card or you know if we can get 15 creatures out we can win the game with it probably highly unlikely but that's the way it goes so four drops is where most of the griffins are abbey armored assault <laughs> charging courier um dajar i think that's how you say it eduku uh gale swooper that's not bad does give another creature flying when it ends the battlefield so it does help if we've got some little tokens in play griffin protector miss moon griffin if you name if you could think of a griffin it's in this deck somewhere you can return this this one's quite nice actually matenda griffin's quite nice yes it's a four mana two two with flying not the best stats in the world i think you'll all agree but the one in the the one white and tap it return it and return a target griffin from our graveyard um return target grief from griffin from our graveyard to our hand it really does help so you get a little bit of recursion with it if we can keep it alive Razor foot sinkers of the first strike even though it's two two um Terramo keeps in as well and it's got banding which is going to drive everyone mad i'm sure on mtgo uh unario griffin's in just take that out and then because we're playing griffin so most of our stuff flies i've snuck in moat now again moat is one of those really expensive cards in real life but on mtgo it's not too bad a price hence why it's in here and since virtually all of our stuff flies it seemed like a no-brainer to me to have this included in the deck i've also included golden guardian just so we can get it flipped hopefully um get it killed and then get the two mana and have somewhere create some four four tokens it's probably not the best plan in the world so it could come out speaking of which the other artifacts i missed from over here captain's claws just so we can get some creature uh, ground pounding one one tokens if need be bouncing dragger for the extra mana we can produce okay we've got to chuck around but the plus two plus one is not the bad until we get the damage converted and then fumetic compass i decided to put in so i've got some way of untapping the big annoying stuff that will come up against sorry i missed them a minute ago it's what happens when you've got covid your brain doesn't work properly in addition thread dynamos in i think i mentioned that when i was talking about the ramp but i can't remember now the other thing I want to point out is I have chucked in Anointed Procession. If we are going to be making 2-2 two, two Griffin tokens, we might as well have Anointed Procession and get on with it. So, hence why it's here. Going up to the 5 drops, we've got some more Griffins. We've got Decorated Griffin. We've got Enforcer Griffin, which is quite nice. 3-4 for 5 flying. That's alright, I can cope with that for stats. You know, and if we can get our little pump thing out here always flying, that's not too bad. Peregrine Griffin's in. The other legendary Griffins in, other Griffin, no, other Griffin creatures you control get plus one, plus one. If you're going to have this one in, you might as well have the other one in mind. You know, this is the one that people have been trying to make work in Griffin decks for years on end. I've chucked in AO, the Dawn Sky, just so I can get some of the stuff back or put some plus one, plus one counters around when this dies. Archangel of Thune seems like a bit of a no-brainer. Uh, Griffins have got a praise or something. And there's going to be a lot of life gain, so we might as well make the Griffins bigger this way. Cathar's Crusade works when we get to put the tokens into play. If we get one of our first strike griffins to get some damage in, and this is in play, we get to get a 2-2 two, two creature, which will then pump all the other ones by plus one, plus one. So it's really worthwhile having the Crusade in from my point of view. A little bit of removal in the f Cleansing Nova. Um, austere Commands over here, and the wonderful world of Dust Dawn. Dust Dawn is really quite nice because most of our griffins are two power unless we've managed to pump them with this or with this. So most of our two power creatures survive a Dust to Dawn, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, go back to the griffins. Dive bomb griffins in, sacrifice it, it deals through damage to target attacking or blocking creatures, so it's a little bit of a lightning bolt for something that's annoying you. Doomscar, a bit more removal. I decided to play Blade blade griff prototype as well because it's technically it's an artifact griffin who knew we could have artifact griffins and it does destroy the you know damage to destroy target non-land permanent of that per player's choice that one of your opponents controls it gives you a nice little way of dealing with some of the other things you can do a little bit of negotiation i'm going to hit you you take three but then you can decide to destroy uh, that player's walk wherever that's causing us all a problem um up the top the most expensive griffin I could find was a 6 mana 3-3. Three, three. Um, does have a nice little trick there. The beginning of your upkeep, tap target creature. So that's quite nice. If you've got something, if you got, if you can alpha strike with your griffins, or they've got one flying blocker and you want to get through and get some tokens, helps a little bit with this. Well, Stair Command I've talked about. 
And the last card I chucked in, just because I wanted one something in, I'm going to pay all this mana for griffins. I do want them to stay on the board. So Avacyn, Angel of Hope, seems like a really good plan to make them all indestructible. Yes, I know she can get um, exiled. I'm, I'm well aware of that. But I figured it's worth a try to have a bit of fun with her and see if we can do it that way. So that's it, really. It's a little short video. Like I say, I'm gonna these ones. I'm gonna be doing some more this week. They're gonna be a little bit shorter than normal because I am suffering a little bit from the COVID. I've managed to pick up again. It's the second time I've had it. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, hit the like button. That really helps out as well. Hit the subscribe button. That helps me out more. And yeah, go and find me on Twitch. I'll be playing this game on. I'll be playing this deck on Twitch at some stage during the streams this week. So hopefully, I'll see you all then. Hopefully, I won't be snuffing and coughing and making myself sound like an idiot on video but i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think and i'll really see you soon take care bye well it would be bar if we could hit the stop button let's try again bye